Now to another headline that doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. Both Congress and a special counsel are investigating Russia's meddling in the 2016 election and how it may have used social media to its benefit. Facebook's COO, Sheryl Sandberg, met with investigators on Capitol Hill this week and gave an interview to Axios Thursday saying the company owes America an apology. Things happened on our platform in this election that should not have happened, especially and very troubling foreign interference in a democratic election. And we're fully cooperating with their investigation, both Congress and the special counsel. And what we said to them is, we're giving them our piece, but they can understand the whole picture because they have access to much more information than we do. And so what I reiterated in those meetings is that we think it's important that they get the whole picture and that they explain that transparently to the American public. These ads are divisive. And they are down, and the pages are down because they were from fake accounts. But if they, not all of them, some of them are hate and some of them are violence, and those come down on our platform. But a lot of them, if they were run by legitimate people, we would let them run. We started to hear the rumors, and this is in, you know, around the election itself of a different kind of attack, which wasn't, I'm going to get your email and get into your account and take all your stuff and, you know, steal your data. It was more, it was a more subtle, even though just as important, which was posting in an inauthentic way to try to be deceptive and divisive. CBS News contributor and editor-in-chief of Wired Magazine, Nick Thompson, is in San Francisco. Hey, Nick. How's it going? Great. In this interview that we just saw, Sandberg carefully avoided the question of what Facebook may know about any possible links between the Trump campaign and the Russians. The company will face similar questions on Capitol Hill in a couple of weeks. What's at stake for Facebook in that question? Oh, my gosh. I mean, massive things are at stake, right? The whole public perception of Facebook is at stake, right? Whether people trust it, whether they feel like it's helping our democracy or hurting our democracy, there's a huge public perception issue which affects the company in thousands of ways. The regulatory issues, the whole foundational dynamic of how Facebook is regulated may hinge on this question. Facebook has been mostly free of regulation. And then there's the other question, the big I mean, the elephant in the room for Facebook, which is, will there ultimately be antitrust investigations into Facebook? That's not directly tied to this, but antitrust is effectively a political issue. And if the tide turns against Facebook and if Washington turns against Facebook, you're going to see much higher threats on that. So everything's at stake for Facebook right now. Well, Sandberg also said that Facebook is not a media company. Your magazine put out a piece mm -hmm. with the headline, Memo to Facebook, <laughs> How to Tell if You're a Media Company. So is it? <laughs> Well, I mean, it depends how you define a media company. I mean, look, Facebook, as you can see from, or as you could hear in those statements from Sandberg, she kind of backs away at every possible step, right? Things happened on our platform, right? You know, we're part of the picture. We should let other people know the things. They're trying, Facebook is trying to sort of step away as much of it as it can from this problem. And one of the ways it always tries to step away is saying, look, you know, we're, we're not a media company. And part of that is true, right? They don't have journalists. It's not like Wired, where we hire journalists to go out there and publish the media. But in all sorts of other ways, they are a media company, right? They are the dominant source of news. They provide more information for the American public than any other media company. They fact check some of it. They vet a lot of it. So in many traditional ways, and that's what the story by Aaron Griffith on Wired.com today said, in many ways, it does look like a media company, walk like a media company, and smell like a media company. So it's different in some ways, very similar in other ways. Now, is there a movement, though, for people to sort of start treating them more like a media company in, in terms of, I mean, you mentioned regulation, but in other ways. I mean, you know, Facebook is hands off when it comes to news moving around uh, on, their, on their platform. Uh, in terms of advertising, it's very, uh, they're not very transparent in terms of how the advertising works there. Uh, you think there's going to be a lot of pressure in terms of them changing that or at least being more transparent or being more hands-on? Well, it's funny because you can see it going both ways, right? You can imagine Facebook saying, you know what, and we are a media company. We should just accept that. And we should deal with the responsibilities that come with that. And one of the responsibilities is to, you know, sort of have elements of balance, to make sure that there's elements of accuracy, to sort of take the sort of traditions and strictures that media companies have. Right? and elements of fairness, and we need to you know, act in certain ways and not in other ways. Like you could imagine Facebook going in that direction. You can also imagine the opposite, which is Facebook saying, God, this is a mess. 
We need to step away from this as much as we possibly can. We just need to be completely algorithmic. They seem to be going more in the former direction. Right? They're becoming more and more like a media company, acting more and more like a media company. But you can also see a possible counter move there. So, but why would they try to not appear to be a media company? I mean, is it a philosophical thing? Uh, is it sort of the mindset in Silicon Valley to be just sort of hands off? Well, yes. It's, it, it's because being a media, well, for one, being a media company, if you've looked at the business models of media companies recently, like there, there are issues with being a media company. But the more important thing for Facebook is they want to encompass the entire world, right? They basically want to replace the internet, right? Their ambitions are way too large to be a media company. They don't want to be tied down in that stuff. They just want to create a platform on which everything happens and they aren't at all regulated and they aren't held responsible for the consequences, right? That is the best way to run Facebook, right? To allow people to do everything but to not bear any of the consequences for their actions. And so they have to kind of deal with the fact that now the public and now Congress are saying, well, you have to be responsible for some of the things that your platform enabled. Wired Magazine's Nick Thompson, always a pleasure. Thank you. Oh, great to be here.